Okay, here is a short introduction to the genetic drift applet. You have a number of factors you can control in your experiment. The first is the percentage of a particular allele in the population. You can start at 50-50, or you go 1 to 9, or 9 to 1. It doesn't really matter. We'll start with 50-50. The next thing you have to do is decide the size of your population. That's this button. You can go from a very small population, just 10 organisms, to a larger one, 250. We'll start at 50 for this experiment. Next, you're looking at the number of generations. Here you can also choose between 50 generations, 100, or 250. A single experiment comes from starting, hitting the Start button and watching the behavior. Here you see that we started at 50-50, and one allele was lost at generation about 90. We can do another experiment. In this experiment, neither allele was lost. Here's another one where an allele was lost at about generation 65. And here's another one. So each push of the Start button is a single experiment. For the experiment I've asked you to do, we're going to use 100 generations and you're going to do 20 experiments for each population size, from 10 to 250. You're going to calculate the number of times in that 20 that the one or the other allele was lost. You divide that number by 20, and that's the frequency of allele loss. Once you have that data, make a graph of the population size versus frequency of allele loss.